there are five red flags that I think, because I think women often don't have the words. In fact, oftentimes women have told me, thank you for putting this into words, because I didn't have the words to describe it, but I felt it. I felt it deep in my belly and my spirit. And so I think when you feel scared in your marriage, scared for your safety, whether it's physical safety or just emotional safety, that you feel like you're being attacked all the time, that you're being gaslit, you're confused, you're scared to bring up something, you're scared to say no, you're scared to make your own decision. Those are red flags that this is not a healthy relationship, that this may be on the destructive side. Another red flag would be that you are controlled. That you, I, I remember, Lisa, talking about going to a women's retreat. I was just attending a women's retreat with a friend of mine, and she goes, I don't know. I have to ask my husband if I can go. And I'm like, are you an adult in this relationship? You have to ask your husband if you can go. I can certainly understand talking to him about that and to see if it's a good time for him to watch the kids and all those kind of things. But asking permission like a child asks a parent. Um, And as I talked to her further, she was kind of controlled, that she wasn't allowed to make her own choices. She wasn't allowed even to cut her hair. And when her mom was dying of cancer, she wasn't allowed to go take care of her mom because it would inconvenience him. To me, that's a really destructive marriage when she's not allowed to make a grown-up decision to care for someone she loves because her husband won't let her. That's a misunderstanding and a misdefinition of headship, submission, and marriage. So when you feel controlled by someone, when you feel afraid of someone, Mm -hmm. when you feel constantly and regularly confused with someone. Mm -hmm. For example, I remember talking to a woman and she said, you know, my husband and I agreed that if he was going to be late, he would call me because I would be upset that he wouldn't call and he'd come home two hours late from work and I'd have dinner and the kids were upset and he didn't want me to eat without him. And it was just frustrating. But then when he didn't call and he came home late and I called him on it, I confronted him on it. He said, I never said that. You're trying to control me. You're trying to micromanage my life. And so then she started getting really confused. Like, did we agree with this or didn't we not agree with this? And so sometimes that gaslighting, that confusion, that I thought we agreed to this or I thought we agreed not to this or I thought we were going to agree to tell each other when we took money out of the ATM, all those kind of decisions that you agreed to as a couple. And then all of a sudden it didn't happen or it didn't happen the way you remember and you start to feel a little nutty inside. So when that happens on a regular basis, that's a red flag. The two other red flags I would say is when you are regularly feeling deceived or you have been deceived, trust is a component to any healthy relationship, especially marriage. I love in the Proverbs 31 chapter where it talks about the virtuous woman where it says her husband trusts her to do him good, not harm all the days of her life. And I think the opposite is true too, that we would trust him to do us good, not harm.